Hey everybody, it is Rav1 and I am here with... EJTL. And we are laughing because you guys didn't see the first minute and a half of this video where we didn't start. Uh, we were just, you know, not bickering, but just jibber jabbering back and forth. Um, so we have today for you the Zobi Fright Pack. Uh, Zobi Fright Pack. This one was a director's cut, I do believe is what it was called, and it was $60, uh, $48 for us because we're Zobi supporters and we pay the $6 a month to be a supporter. So we get 20% off all of our items, which is awesome. So we saved 12 bucks on this bad boy. Um, there was five franchises in here. I don't remember what exactly they were, except you were happy because Devil's Rejects was in here and Silence of the Lambs was in here. And then it was like, was it like Annabelle or something? I don't know. And someone that I didn't know about. And then there's uh, the Forgotten Isle comic book. But we're gonna get to it. But there should be two autographs in this box, which is pretty cool. So, DJTL super excited about that. And this box also is pretty heavy. So, I'm wondering. I, I know they said about getting a shirt in here. I'm wondering if it's a shirt, or maybe they gave us like a sweatshirt or something. They say a shirt wouldn't be heavy, heavy. Yeah, maybe it's like a sweatshirt or something. So, all right, guys. So stop peeking. It's white. There's nothing in there. Don't show them. I'm not sure. Can I, can I get in? There is a shirt, but I don't know if that would make it heavy. Let's see. I love how you Yeah, it tore. was a shirt that made it heavy. Really? Yeah, this shirt's pretty heavy. You ready? Yeah. I'll open it up. Let everyone see. Oh, Dr. West. West, Dr. West's. Ooh. Yeah, that's what it says. It says Dr. West's, and it has the don't let <laughs> don't let that stop 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 you now. I can't even read. Forget it. It's, forget it. <laughs> forget it. I'm done. Walk dragons, welcome. We're open. Don't let death stop you now. 1985 W Miss Miskatonic Street, Dr. West's reanimation clinic. Effective even minutes after death. Lab tested professor. This from like reanimator. Sort of what it seems like. Yeah. Is it from the Devil's Rejects? You would know. I wouldn't. I don't believe so. And With if the it glasses is, up I'm, there. I'm really. I don't know, think it would be. Okay. Well, you're the you're the Devil's Reject fan, so. No, but yes, I'm a little missy. I haven't gotten a chance to watch that stuff, and you won't watch things at night. Okay. So everything in here is upside down. So we'll just, here, we'll just everything's it upside down. I found myself a look. So I can show you guys. Everything's upside down. We're actually not peeking and cheating. Everything is upside down in here. So we're just gonna pull this stuff out. And what's actually really cool, I'm looking already. We got an 11 by 14 autograph in here, but we're gonna do this little prop first. We got a bullet. Um. Does it say anything? No. It's literally just a bullet in a. And just like a. Okay. Yeah, it's like a literally just a bullet. Okay. Um. Weird. No. Let's do the pin. There we go. <laughs> no idea what we got a bullet for. I don't even know what we're doing at this point. I can't read what it says. No. Top secret clown business. Doc, that's Dr. Spaulding. That's the Devil's yeah. Rejects piece. Aww. Why are you upset about that? Well, I thought you liked Dr. Spaulding. Or Captain Spaulding. Oh, yeah, but... Oh, this is an upgrade, too. It says limited to 100. Okay. That's pretty neat. No, 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 no. no well, no autograph. Maybe the autograph would be for Science of the Lambs. <laughs> <laughs> pretty neat, though. I, I know, like the pin. You didn't even let me keep the pins. Here's the monthly comic book. This is that Forgotten Island. <gasps> oh, it's not. What is this? See? Why? Why do you lie to oh, our viewer? Uh, Forgotten Isle. Huh? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, this is number three of the Forgotten Isle. <laughs> From the exclusive creator and writer of Don't Pay the Ferryman, a Jolting Zobi exclusive, their Forgotten Isle number three. It's a really cool looking cover. Right? That's pretty neat. Yeah. Very old school looking. Yeah, that's cool. So we've gotten all three copies of that. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I see two autographs and then the cheat sheet. So let's do autograph number one. Ready? Three, two, one. Hellraiser. Yeah, that is from Hellraiser. You have it sideways though. No, it's so, the way it's supposed no, to be. No, it's not. There it's you go. To be like this. Oh yeah, you're right. It There's is. This, see? Oh, yeah, that's that cool. one's from Hellraiser. That's from the gentleman who played Pinhead. I like Hellraiser. That's I was gonna cool. say that's actually one that you actually like. Yeah, that's cool. And we don't have to get into an Although, argument. I don't know if that it doesn't look like it's a photo. It's like a it's print. A, almost looks like the yeah. I think it's like a photo print of some sort. I don't know. 
Yeah, that's pretty neat though. Cool autograph, Hellraiser. Oh, I, I didn't forgot, touch it. I forgot Hellraiser was in here. So that must mean, unless that Dr. West thing is um, Silence of the Lamb, then this 11 by 14 autograph has to be Silence of the Lambs then. So. It is Silence of the Lambs. Oh, it's the woman who was in the Buffalo Bills cellar. I can't remember her name. I don't really know if she had a name. So. It puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hairs again. Yep. It's a pretty creepy autograph. I can't really see it. Oh, yeah. It kind of is a little creepy. It's very creepy. So, I don't know. We'll see if we're going to keep this or not. Oh. Uh, With a JR sign something. That's so cute, though. I like it. Can I show them? Yeah. That's actually... I like that. You see what it says? You put the autographs back in the box or you get the hose again. Thanks for <laughs> the support, JR. <laughs> Galagos, 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 I don't know how you say his last name, JR. Yeah. And he, JR signs all these cards like, himself, which is pretty cool. Because it's That's like the card. dog looking down at yeah. her. It's kind of cool. Cool. All right. And then our cheat sheet. So you guys will see this <sighs> up on the screen so you can follow along. And you seem bummed out by this one. I am. You are? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, here we go. Follow along. Zobie Fright Pack. Your 11 by 14 was hand signed by Catherine Martin in The Silence of the Lambs. So Aww. their name was Catherine Martin, played, played by actress Brooke Smith. Um, I like that one way better. You'll see it on the screen. I'm pointing to the movie poster one. That's really cool. I like that one. Or the one where Buffalo Bill's looking down at her. Yeah, actually, I'd actually have all of the prints. I think I like this one the least. So, um, 8x10 photo was hand signed by Pinhead in Hellraiser Judgment 2018, Paul T. Taylor. So, not the original not the Pinhead. Original. Um, just the gentleman who played him in Hellraiser Judgment. It's just sort of cool. I, I would have preferred it was the original. Um, I know that autograph's hard to find. That's why I was looking at that autograph, but it doesn't look like the guy who played. I can't remember what his name is right now. Um, I think I tip my tongue. It'll, I'll actually put it at the bottom of the screen so, so you guys You've know. You've got a lot of things on the screen. I do. I do. Um, the book. Hang on. The, uh, the other prints are all pretty much the same. I think this one. I actually is, like the print we got. Yeah, I, I think it's kind of It looks like an album cover, almost like a metal album cover. Yeah, it does. I kind of like that one, actually. Comic Book has an exclusive exclusive cover of issue number three of The Forgotten Isle. Your exclusive pin features one of two designs inspired by the Devil's Rejects, either the car, which was out of 600, or Captain Spaulding, Top Secret Convos, is out of 100, which is pretty cool. It is cool this is out of 100, but I really wanted a monogram. So your prop replica, Bullet, was created by Dark Matter Props, inspired by Silver Bullet in 1985. But it's just interesting because there's nothing... It there's, just... It's... It's literally just like a, like a prop bullet. Like there's absolutely nothing on there that says... Yeah, like, I mean, there's... there's like Even on the bottom, it's just... It's just like regular bullet markings. It's a good clown business. It's interesting. Like you would think they would have like etched like silver bullet or something on there. Yeah, it's like literally nothing. Um, and that was right. The graphic tee features a Zobi exclusive design inspired by Reanimator in 1985. So, pretty cool. And it does say $10 off coupon included from Jim Spence Authentication, but I didn't see that in the box. I don't think we got that. Not no. that we're going to use it, but I didn't see it in there. So, cool. Um, I like that box. Um, I, I don't know why you didn't, but... No, it's not that I, I it just, I... I know, you're bummed because you didn't get a t-shirt or an autograph from the Devil's Rejects. You get the cool pin, though. Okay, but you keep the pins. You don't let me have the pins. Well, do you want that pin? Where am I going to put it, though? And then if I sit there and do something, then you're going to yell at me, and it gets really, really annoying. Okay, you... I don't even know how to try to say it nicely. You complain about the way that I do There things. we go. Complain is definitely the right word. Complain. Um, complain. A lot. A lot. <laughs> so... So we'll talk about these. So, you know, some of these autographs, uh, the, the Silence of the one may be up on eBay. I'm not sure. We're going to see if we're going to Yeah, I'm not it. a... I mean, yeah. it would be... A, I mean, I'm okay if that's up on eBay. I'm right. okay with that. Yeah, I mean, if it was an Anthony Hopkins one or... Oh, a, damn, uh, no. Um, what's her Derr. name? Who played Clarice? Wait, <gasps> wait I'm, I'm drawing. She was. Come on. She was Nell. Come on. She, she's everywhere. Um, Jodie Foster. There we go. Gosh, oh I got drawing a complete blank on Jodie Foster. I thing. never remember names, and I knew that. Right now, right? Yeah. So if one of those two would have been phenomenal. Oh yeah, that no, right but up whatever. But yeah, you know, chicken mm -hmm. in the hole. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Brooke Smith. 
And it's funny because that doesn't, that, honestly, that autograph does not look like, does it say Brooke Smith to you? Yeah, yeah, that's a B. Brooke, and then, yeah, I guess it does. I mean, it's a, she really signed her name fully, which is yeah. interesting. So, all right. She actually looks like the, she actually looks like the girl from Orange is the New Black, doesn't she? Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. If you guys ever saw Orange is the New Black. Because of the way she's like the in way there her face looks I wonder. Sort, of, yeah. sort of looks like her. I don't um, know. So, yeah. Okay. Interesting box. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Okay. I'm okay. It's fine. I'm okay. I like the shirt. I mean, I'm okay. You like the shirt? No. No? Okay. <laughs> well, apparently, you like the pin. I like the pin. So, that's the box, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching us. I hope you enjoyed our banter back and forth. Um, do the thing as always. Like the video. Subscribe. I, I no! <laughs> like. Comment. Subscribe and ring the bell. Ring the bell. Even she's got it down now, and I'm messing it up. You guys saw the little pop ups coming on the screen. All right, guys, thanks for checking the video out. We appreciate it, and stay safe out there.